Okay, YouTubers, uh, today uh, we're working on a 2017 uh, Chevy Express Van 3500. It's got a C0110 fault code uh, for the interlock braking system. And what I don't like uh, in troubleshooting this system is the electronic brake modulator valve uh, is connected directly to the electronic brake control module. They're, they're bolted together with four little screws. And if you look here at step four, it says here, if all the circuits test normal, and they did in this case on the van, uh, replace the brake uh, power brake modulator valve, uh, brake, yeah, whatever, BP modulator valve, the valve, that's the part that has the motor on it, and verify the DTC. If it does not reset, uh, and verify it does not reset. If the DTC resets, replace the electronic brake control module. So you're, you're guessing. Now, how can you determine which one's which so you don't have to buy two parts? Well, here's how. The elect this is the old brake uh, modulating valve, and you can see these are the two connectors for the motor on the back side of the valve. So this is my new valve because I know this one's bad, and I'll show you how to verify that with the scan tool before you even have to go to this extent and do these tests. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect. I've got continuity. I've got about 46 ohms through the motor, but when I apply 12 volts here, the motor won't turn. So here's my new valve, and we're going to take this modulator. See, since this modulator uh, brake module connects right there with those two connectors on those two pins to control the motor, you can't uh, differentiate. Uh, well, is it my module not sending the power out? or is it my motor's not turning? Well, with the scan tool, you can pull up your parameters and you can t turn up the voltage at this connector and, and then you can go down and, and listen to and feel and see if the motor, and then you can also verify with the scan tool that it's actually the, mo the, the module, the computer brain, is actually sending the power out. So I'm gonna connect to this real quick and show you how to test the motor. All right, so here I have my Power Probe Maestro, and I just have it connected to a car battery on the bench top, and then I have my ground wire connected. So I'm just going to press this button here, and go over to ohms. And when I touch the other connector, you can see I've got well, I had 46 ohms, and now I have an open circuit. So that would kind of give you an indication that the motor's got an open winding, and that's the fault that C0110-04 uh, is telling you you've got an open in the pump motor circuit. So the other thing you could do that's really cool with the power probe is I can go to volts, and I can press this button here. I put 12 volts at the tip, and you see there's no voltage drop. I got nothing going through the motor, so there's an open in that motor. Now. We're going to do it just for fun. We're going to do it with the new motor. And we're going to check, do the same tests. Check my continuity. See, and I have 0 0.01 ohms on that motor. So I know that when I put 12 volts to this, I'm going to hear that motor fire up. And there you can hear the motor fires up. So that's how you can verify that your electronic, you know, which one is it? Is it my electronic brake control module or is it the valve and the motor itself? So, hope this helps you out. See you next time. Okay, folks, a little bonus material. This is uh, using a Foxwell IEDTS uh, scan tool. And you can see there's the code C011004 pump motor circuit open. So, now that I've got the new valve, well, that's going to be annoying. Listen to that. Let's, uh, oh, hey, it just quit clicking. Great, so uh, now we've got this, so what I'm gonna do is just simply hit erase on the code because if the fault's still there, the code will come right back. And it says no low brake fluid, that's because when I took the valve out, all the fluid's gone. So that's normal. We'll uh, bleed the brakes, fill that back up. But before I do, what I wanna do is show you how I determined it was with the scan tool that it was the the brake modulator valve with the motor on it and not the uh, brake control uh, the, not the electronic component uh, the module and so I'm just going to go into modules 
and then go into electronic brake control and then within electronic brake control sorry for the glare let me see here if I go to control functions and I go to ABS pump motor down here and select the pump motor I can command the voltage up and when I do that you're looking at three so when you when you turn when you hit activate down here or increase the commanded state you should see number three APS pump motor voltage go up as well and we did so we knew the computer module was good and the motor was bad so now I'm going to do this test again this thing focused here and go underneath so you can see uh, and hear the motor as I increase this okay so now we're underneath the vehicle we've got the new modulator uh, valve installed with this little motor and now I'm going to go back to the scan tool and hit increase and as soon as I do I can hear that motor running and now I shut it off so you'll notice that when I hit increase my ABS number three went up ABS pump motor voltage that's the voltage that the module sending to the motor through that connector I showed you earlier so just watch this I'm gonna hit increase again and you can see that voltage going up 12 volts and then boom we're good so anyway again hope this helps you and uh, diagnosing this particular problem and we'll see you next time